Hey everybody, I'm Scott. I'm a program manager with Monroe & Associates. Been with the company about seven years, and today I want to address something that I've come to realize over those seven years, which is that to the outside world, it's not always apparent exactly what we at Monroe & Associates do or how we help our clients. So today we're going to dig into that. Come on inside. So let's start with what our mission is at Monroe. And that for us is to help our clients find opportunities to maximize their value, their quality, and their profit. We'll speak about specifically what core competencies feed into that in a moment here. But at the end of the day, that's what we're all about. We're trying to help our clients make the best version of their products and to accelerate the process whereby they have the ideas for how they can achieve that. So when you think about what that means, right, we don't have a physical product that we're offering. Um, and it, much of what we deal in is information, is feedback, is insight. And what we're all about is providing that uh, information and that insight to our clients at the right times to essentially push them to be able to achieve whatever their stated goals are. And the three foundational elements that we use to really support that and kind of you know, build up what we can provide are lean design, benchmarking, and costing. All right, so lean design is essentially a set of principles that is what Monroe was founded on, right, and is what forms the lens through which we evaluate designs, uh, both competitive ones and for a client that we might encounter. So this is heavily influenced by Sandy's time with uh, Dr. Deming and others who, who really kind of believe that, right, the best part is no part or the simplest design is, is the best design is the simplest one that works. Um, those are in line with that lean design methodology whereby we're looking at what the functional objectives of a part are and trying to say what is the most elegant and efficient way that we could execute this uh, in a way that maximizes those three things we talked about earlier, right? Value, quality, and profit. Those are going to be basically the, the principles that we're going to use as we're looking at any design. The second core element is benchmarking, and that is essentially what we do to ensure that we stay abreast of what's new and current in technology. So, you're looking at different parts on tables here. If you've seen panning shots through our building, you've seen a lot of that, right? We do execute a lot of physical teardowns that enable us to evaluate different designs and try and tease out what those efficiencies are and answer the why behind the what, right? So when we're looking at things and we're tearing them down, whether they're competitive products or it's for a client, we're, again, considering those functional objectives and we're comparing those constantly to the types of different things that we've seen in benchmarking activities. And not just in automotive, right? We do end up looking at a lot of that, but we've, we've had projects in lots of different industries. Automotive, right? But also defense and aerospace and agriculture, off-highway, medical, electronics, uh, the list goes on, right? So always trying to look for those sources of inspiration and saying, how can we perhaps borrow design cues from other demonstrated competitive efficiencies and bring that in to help solve our clients' problems? The third core competency that I want to speak to is costing, right? And that is essentially the means by which we measure the efficiency of anything objectively. Uh, in order for us to evaluate whether or not something maximizes value or profit or quantity, we have to understand the levers that drive and impact cost. So we have an internally developed software called Design Profit, where we perform activity-based costing to arrive at grounds up estimates of what something should cost and can use that to evaluate different alternatives and again, ultimately build out those business cases that are gonna help their, our clients make tough decisions. All right, so we talked about the core competencies that feed our service lines. Now let's talk about what those service offerings are. There are four main categories, product optimization, benchmarking intelligence, product development support, and costing services. Let's talk about each of them. Product optimization, probably my favorite and one that ends up being the majority of what we do at Monroe. With that, as maybe the name implies, right, we are working closely with clients to help them make a better version of their product. And we're evaluating that by whatever means are most important to them. Could be weight, could be quality, but honestly, most often uh, it's cost that people are concerned with, right? So fundamentally, pretty much everyone has targets, whether, whether those, you know, often cost targets, they could be weight targets, but essentially, 
people are tasked at an organizational level with trying to find ways to pursue these goals. And it can be difficult to try and fill the hopper with ideas for that. People are met with internal resistance, everyone's busy, it can be difficult to get buy-in across the organization, and that's where our clients typically plug Monroe in, right? We have this goal or this objective, we wanna pursue it, let's load the hopper with ideas. And that's where we can jump in uh, and streamline that process. So when people hire us for product optimization, oftentimes they'll provide us with a physical version of their product. We'd tear it down. Uh, this wasn't from a, a, an optimization study. This was for a costing study, but you know, essentially, right? Whole vehicle pulled apart. We would get the product. We would tear it down. We would understand it. We would work with the design team to understand their objectives. And then we would juxtapose that alongside competitive executions, other things we've seen to systematically go through and identify potential optimization opportunities for them. We then bring their engineering team in. We have a series of workshops and not just engineering, right? It could be studio, manufacturing, lots of different groups, but we're not just gonna drop a report in someone's lap. We're gonna work with them to walk through our findings, point out the insights, and ultimately try and arrive at a list of ideas that is gonna be something that they understand how they were developed and they're gonna prioritize as to what they're gonna start tackling next. All right, the second key service offering that I wanna to speak to is benchmarking intelligence. So that essentially is really the culmination of all the exposure that we've had throughout the years to different industries, different types of products. Uh, also, you know, in many ways recently, it's been augmented with our channel, right? Because of the exposure, we've gotten to speak with leaders in industry. We've gotten exposed to new types of products and even more industries. And that's all, again, sort of a virtuous cycle of exposure. All of the insights of which when we glean those, we're able to funnel those down to clients. So for benchmarking intelligence, oftentimes projects and engagements like this end up with people coming to us with challenging questions that address you know, their high level things. What are the trends in industry? What are we seeing here? Where do you see this going? Um, we've worked with you know, direct manufacturers of products, their suppliers, we've worked with financial institutions, we've worked with management consulting firms for this type of an engagement. Essentially, when people have difficult questions to answer and they need the experience uh, that you build over decades of exposure to different types of design strategies, that's where Monroe's benchmarking intelligence insights can really be of value. Product development support is all about getting involved to provide the right feedback at the right time in the product development phase. So at Monroe, we are firm believers uh, in the idea that the earlier you can make an impact on the product design, the better it's going to be for you. You want to get to it while the design's still malleable and the tooling's not cut right. Things you can still affect a change because most of a product's cost is dictated in that early stage of the product. So, where we really can shine in this regard and come, uh, you know, help our clients is not to design the product for them, right? But to get involved to help set targets and objectives or to bring a, a third party fresh set of eyes to look at the design as it's taking shape and challenge the team and push back. And I think critically, another thing we can do is, you know, sort of look across those silos that exist within conventional organizations to say, what's gonna be right for the vehicle or for the product, not just for this one system, right? Getting past some of those political barriers and saying, okay, how can we do what's gonna make the most sense in terms of overall product efficiency? So what this looks like for us, a lot of times in the product development phase, we're looking at CAD. Things are still only existing in a digital environment. We're coming in, we're talking to the design teams, we're understanding what the objectives are, and we're pushing back on some of those areas and recommending different executions. Essentially, again, it's all about the right feedback at the right time to try and set the team on the right direction so that it's gonna be the best version of their product. The last thing I wanna speak about uh, is costing services, right? And so that, maybe some of that's intuitive, but again, just to kind of bring that home, it's not a one size fits all offering. Costing is one of our key elements, but we have different flavors of it to suit the different types of needs that a client might have based on where they're at, right? So maybe they just need something quick, uh, sort of comparing competitive executions and excluding based on different drivers. That's one thing we can do. Uh, we have a, a form of costing called detailed or technical costing that is as nitty gritty as you can get, right? Calling out every assumption for material and utility, uh, all the manufacturing processes, everything feeding in with assumptions stated so that you could go to a supplier armed for negotiation and push back from a, a point of knowledge, right? We also do what we call directional costing, which pulls in a few more assumptions, still very accurate, but it's gonna allow us to process a whole vehicle faster than maybe full bottoms up detailed costing would allow. Um, and you know, also as part of our, our costing expertise, we do offer, this is really our only product, right? Our off the, one off the shelf offering are our full um, teardown cost reports for vehicles. So 
You've probably seen Sandy or Corey pick them up. Uh, They're quite lengthy, right? But every component in the vehicle laid out tip to tail, meticulously costed uh, to be able to say, hey, you know, how does this vehicle line up? Where are their costs? What's the structure? How does that compare to what we have? You know, we can sell you that report. Or if you want the easier button, right, you can, we can take your bomb and align it to that and point out where those differences are. Uh, but again, it all goes back to, in order for us to gauge efficiencies, we have to be experts in costing. And so we have a lot of different ways to support uh, in terms of costing services. All right, so hopefully you understand a little bit more about Monroe, who we are, what we do, and what we try to seek for our clients. You know, the reason that we exist is to try and maximize opportunities for our clients to improve their value, quality, and profit. You know that our core competencies are lean design, benchmarking and costing, and you know that our four primary service offerings are product optimization, benchmarking intelligence, product development support, and costing services. Hopefully, if any of those sound interesting to you, you, you won't hesitate to reach out to us. Sales at leandesign.com is an email. Please go ahead, reach out. Uh, we'd like to talk about how we could scope an engagement for you. Uh, it's not a one size fits all offering, and by all means, we'd love to dig into it and try and help get you guys on the fast track to improving your product. Thanks.